Alrighty, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Pudget here, and welcome to a well, quickish tutorial on how to install Billcraft. Now, obviously, I'm using in uh, my basically Let's Play called Pizeworld, which some of you are probably following. And if not, go check it out on my channel. <laughs> but uh, no, this is a little quick tutorial, um, or quickish tutorial on how to install Billcraft. And basically, the first thing you want to do is go to you know www.minecraftforum.net and then go through into the forum tab and then make your way to the mapping and modding section and then minecraft mods and basically you look for the minecraft.2.2.0 thread and should be usually on the first page usually is so and you can't miss it and when you open up the page you'll see it's made by space toad he's got a big toad as his icon or as his avatar and it's got buildcraft at the, t at the uh, page right there so you can't miss it so anyway let's get right on with it Scroll down, the scroll down a little bit, you go past a few videos there. Now you reach download location. So basically you want to deal with the first one. And this one is actually your beta, the 2.2.0, but uh, this one actually includes um, like engines. There is a 1.8.1.1, which is a stable, it's not beta, it's, which also works in, uh, in multiplayer. The uh, version 2.2.0 does not, it's only single player. But with this one, the lower number it is actually as I said, it is single it is single and multiplayer but it does not have the engines in it so we'll be dealing with the 2.2.0 so basically what you got to do is you click on see what's got spoiler and we'll have show click on that and it'll open up a bit of text with some links now what you want to do is you get these five files here they're all zip files you click on them respectively and you download them so that's it so just download them. Don't worry about arguing, just download all of them. They all have a different section. The first one is the core, which basically the whole mod needs, otherwise it won't run. Each then part is actually, these four are kind of sort of optional, but you really need them all to make the mod run properly anyway. So like the transport, that's like including the pipes. Um, then you've got factory, then you've got builders and energy. I think the energy is like the, the new engines and... Um, yeah, and all that. But basically, you download all five, because without them all, what's the point of having the mod? So that's it. So anyway, you get all those five. Then you scroll down, once you've got all them, scroll down a little bit, and you'll, you'll find the installation information section. Now, there is two sections here. One is an automatic installation. I'm not showing that here, but if you want to follow these instructions, by all means, you can do so. I'm going to scroll down a little bit further, and we'll go to the client. Now, the reason I'm not doing the automatic is because I prefer to do it manually, Plus, it saves me having to download these jar packs and files and all this other nonsense. And just, I can be a bit more control of what I'm actually downloading and installing. I know what it's actually doing then. So, no offense to, uh, to, uh, I've forgotten his name now, Space Toad. I'm not saying he does anything dodgy. Nothing, saying nothing of the kind. I just prefer to do it this way. So, that's basically what this, this tutorial is going to be. Anyway, back on to the, to the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is download Mod Loader, which most people should already have and you should already have anyway. But if you haven't, click on that first link. It will take you to the Mod Loader page. And once it comes up, just scroll down a bit. Doo -doo 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 -doo, and you'll see the mods. Now it's Mod Loader Beta 1.8.1. Now he does have an AdFly link, but he does also have a Direct. So depending which one you want to use, they're there. Now I'm actually going to download this. I actually have it downloaded here. You can see down in the bottom corner there. But... I'm going to just show you this because I know some people are a bit antsy about this, about AdFly, but if you do, you just click on it. Now, the first thing you do is you quickly hit stop on your browser. All right, that stops any ads from showing up in this middle bit here. Then this timer will count down. You'll see skip ad. You click on that, and as you can see, it is now downloaded. No ads appeared. No surveys. Nothing. Done. Easy. No questions asked. Anyway, that's it. So now you go back. Go back to the Billcraft thread. So that's that thing downloaded. So you should have the five for the uh, for the for the mod. Then you should have also the mod loader. There's a few more things you still got to download first. So keep so just bear with me on this one. The next thing you need is mod loader MP. Again, I'll just go to it to show you the page so you know what it should look like when you get there. And uh, it's by Jamia Flan. And basically, you just it, with this one, you don't have to scroll down. You'll f you'll find the link at the top here. It's Mod Loader MP unofficial. Just click on that. And you'll again, you will see it actually says SDK's Mod Loader MP, but don't worry about that. Uh, you just go down to, it says just underneath here, it's got the installation client 1.8.1. 1. 
and there's either again an ad fly or a media or a media fly depending which one you want to use again just click on either one and download the file cool then we go back to click it back button a couple of times to get you back to the billcraft and now this is the final thing you need to download <laughs> so just bear with me on this one is minecraft forge now you click on that now this is also made by um, space toad and the download link is right near the top so it's either one of these two here, one of the first two links you'll actually find on this page. In, well, in the three, actually, you'll find other links in that, but ignore all that crap. Just download either one of these, whichever one you want to get. And you just get out of that once you've downloaded it. You can then close the internet or just break, or minimize it, as I'm doing here. So now, what you want to do, you want to then open up your Minecraft folder. So you go to, click on the start button, then do a search, just type in percent, a P P D A T A and then percent again. So it should be percent app data percent. Then hit enter. And you should go into the roaming folder, which now you should see your dot minecraft. Double click on that and you should see this. This is from a clean, fresh install of Minecraft. If you have any mods, back them up first. Key pro tip. But anyway, doing this from a clean install. All you gotta do now is you double click on the bin folder. Right click on the minecraft.jar and do open with your WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever it is you use. Close that will pop up if that appears. Now the first thing you see is obviously the meta inf. Click on that, delete, get rid of it. <laughs> all right, now you go into your folder. Now obviously if you downloaded these, all these things, I usually put them on the desktop for ease of finding. If you put them wherever you put them, that's fine, wherever, but desktop's generally easier. So you get mod loader. Not mod loader MP, but mod loader first. Open that up. Again, if you have this purchase thing, just close it. Now, select all of them. So they're all selected. Click and hold, then drag, and just let go of them. You'll have this window popping up. Don't worry about clicking anything, just click OK. Done. Now, you don't need to close this window. All you need to do is click on the little folder with a couple of dots after it. That takes you back to the uh, backer page. Now, next thing you want to in next thing you want to deal with is mod loader MP. Double click on that. Again, select all the files, click hold, drag, and let go, and then click OK. Again, go back on the folder, open that up, Minecraft Forge. Now this is going to have a few folders. This has got a folder and a heap of class files. Again, just click on the folder or the first one, go down to the bottom, hold down shift, click, and then click and hold, drag, and place. Done. Easy as you like. Now, what you can actually do is you can now actually close both of these, uh, like well, the jar file and your zip files. So then you're back to within your folders. So all you got to do now is go back to your... Uh, well, you know, you can actually just keep this open for now, but what you want to do is just go back to your .minecraft folder. But before you go any further, you will notice you don't have any other... There's nothing there. There's only the bin resources save stats folder. What, you, what I usually do now is I open up Minecraft... Type in your username and your password, so then you log in. Wait for this to happen. Now close it, and now you'll see you've got config, mods, save, stats, and texture packs. Because now the game has created all of them for you. Now all you've got to do is, you'll see the mods folder, or M-O-D-S, for those that probably didn't understand what I said. Double click to open that. Now you should have your five buildcraft uh, zip files you downloaded before. All you do is just select all of them, drag them into that folder, done. Mod is installed. Now you can close that, done. Now all you got to do now is load up Minecraft. Wait for that to appear, click log in. It's loading, no black screen. Click on single play, and the best way to actually do is you create a new world. Go on to creative mode, let's do create new world. This is the best way to find out without having to use too many items or anything like that. So, you don't have to fly or anything, even though it's apparently it's not going to let me, but whatever. Just hit the E key, brings up the inventory, and now you scroll down, scroll down, and bingo. There's, the, there's some stone gears, iron gears, there's your pipelines, there's some fuel, there's a wrench. That's the items from the, from the mod. There are a few things there that aren't actually there, like there's a quarry and a mining well, 
and things like that that don't actually show up in this, but they do craft, they craft just fine, and there's not a problem with that at all. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do a quick fly up, see there's a little village around, is there? No, there's not. <laughs> anyway, no, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you install Buildcraft 2.2.0. So hopefully uh, somebody found this quite useful. Um, probably didn't, but whatever, doesn't matter. And yeah, so thanks for watching this tutorial and you know, leave, leave any uh, comments, likes, <laughs> subscribes, <laughs> whatever you feel like. And yeah, so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as always, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Goodbye.